Okay, so today I've hit the floor. Um, I'm going to try to show you one of my favourite ways to get that mid part of your back mobilised. If you've got a foam roller, I think it's a great investment. They're very simple little tools. You can use them for all sorts of things. Um, they can make your muscles feel very sore when you're on them, but with time you get really used to that feeling and it's quite a nice release of some of the tensions in muscles. And we'll go through that later. Today, however, we're going to use it to try to make your mid part of your spine bend better. Alright, so here, here's a model of the spine. Your low back inward curve, you've got the mid back which should curve this way, and the neck should curve this way. However, a lot of problems we see are people with increased thoracic spine curve, which means their head protrudes forward, making a lot of tension between the shoulder blades. So one of the ways we're going to use this foam roller is to try to get the spine to rest on the foam roller, and then at individual levels, try to flatten out. We're not going to try to extend back over like this, we're actually going to try to make individual joints move. I like doing that because it's easy, it's also effective, and it doesn't hurt too much. So there, that's a win in my book. So, how do you go about it? First, you need your foam roller, and then you need to find a position on the floor where you can pop your spine up against it like this. I like to put my hands down my neck, with my fingers in lock behind my neck and my elbows forward. If my elbows are out to the side like this, I feel like I have to hold my own head up. But if they're forward like this, my body just naturally is supporting the neck. Now once you find the position you want to start at, which will start here, you actually will try to keep your tummy tight and then just bend that part of the spine that the roll is on over the ball. You're not trying to go like this, you're just trying to mobilise that individual section. If you go to loosen your tummy, you'll often find yourself arching the low back and that's not actually making this part bend. So you really want to just focus on picking that spot of your spine you want to move and then oscillating back and forth a few times. Now after five or 10 repetitions, you can move down a little bit and then go again. And then go down again and go again. And you'll find that different spots, like the upper part of your back here, will be much harder to bend. But if you can do it regularly, you'll find with each repetition, the spine starts to bend a little bit more, bend a little bit more, and the muscles around it appreciate it. This is great for your posture, it's great for your head position, and I think you'll find it actually feels quite nice to do. Remember though, control your neck position. Keep your hands behind there so they stay nice and supported, and then you're not going to get sore neck muscles. If you feel too much pain or discomfort, you may be very stiff in the area of your back, you can just back off, do it lighter. One other word of warning, try not to start too low down your mid-back. If you're doing it down here on your lower ribs, they tend to not like it very much. So start somewhere in that midsection and work up, come back down again, and then work up again. I think normally two to three minutes of working through that part of your spine can be enough, so give it a go, and we'll soon get you moving better.